Hello everybody, your team channel one, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to fit a USB socket um, into your car. In this instance, it's a uh, Citroen C4 Grand Picasso. As you can see here, I have a 12 volt outlet or cigarette lighter socket, um, which I've plugged in a dual cigarette lighter socket along with some USB uh, outlets um, but I have this space on the right hand side which I can clearly do something more useful with and indeed in a slightly higher spec cars it does have a USB socket in that hole so uh, that's what I'm planning to replace in this car and using one of my favorite retailers eBay um, I found this nice little dual USB um, socket um, with a convenient little uh, voltmeter built in as well. Then after the customary couple of days of delivery, uh, here I have the item ready to fit. And the first tool you're going to need, and you only need a couple in this car, um, is a TX20. Now, down in the right hand footwell, um, you have this little screw on a piece of the trim you need to remove and with that done you can pull the uh, panel forward slightly to reveal this lower and this upper screw which also need removing and with that done you've got pretty much exactly the same thing to do in the left hand footwell even if the screws are in slightly different positions and that then will allow you to remove the panel um, at the bottom of the centre console which when out of the way will reveal um, these two uh, nuts which need removing and then using a 13mm socket um, you just need to remove both of those nuts Then there is the final three TX20 screws um, located here in the center tray part, one of which is underneath this ash cup coin pot, whatever you care to call it. The rear two obviously you have a quite easy access to, um, the front one is hidden underneath this little piece of a uh, rubber matting. With them all undone you can lift that centre tray up uh, and you will see the connector about here um, for the cigarette lighter which just needs uh, pulling down off the, uh, the actual cigarette lighter itself which frees that part of the trim up to be completely removed uh, and as you can see here upside down that is the area we want to work which quite handily um, has a little plug in place um, which you can just squeeze out leaving you with this beautiful hole the perfect size for an aftermarket USB socket you would think but no it doesn't quite fit the hole isn't quite large enough for this device and there are many ways that you could enlarge that hole a little bit um, but I just happen to have this air tool and a flap disc which is about the right size for what I need but it does leave some terrible burrs on the side um, but trying the socket in place I've got it just about the right size so then uh, using a scalpel I can just go around and trim them burrs off making sure to do the same on the inside then I can slide the USB socket into position uh, and fit its retaining collar on the back of it on the inside and this is quite nice and it's definitely labelled up with a positive and minus so if you have removed the wire at any point it's nice and easy to uh, replace it so then I just connect up the supplied wires, work out roughly how much I'm going to want to join them up to the uh, cigarette lighter socket and snip them off where I want them. Here I might be a bit more fortuitous than yourself because I have a 
box uh, of connectors so I just strip the wire off uh, the USB socket wiring using one of those uh, connectors making sure to put the male side on the USB so there's no power possibly going to be uh, live on male connectors even if with the connector shroud on um, you can't really touch the uh, the connector pins and that's in my hand there is just a little piece of cloth because I don't want these wires rattling around on a, on the bit of trim uh, and just annoying me so using that cloth um, some of these cable tie tidies uh, I tie it all together and stick it inside um, the centre trim piece now the car quite fortunately has these rather nifty like scotch lock connectors um, that you can um, open up from the side uh, giving you access to the pins and then uh, using something sharp like I've got a scalpel here you can use a small screwdriver you can lift the tabs up and pull the pins free of the connector and then using the bits of excess wire cut off the USB socket I now put female terminals on there and pop them into a, a mating receptacle uh, and solder those wires onto the now exposed wires from the car and while they are fairly securely soldered on I pop some heat shrink over the top and then slide them back into the vehicle connector and just fold it all over and snap it shut here now with the trim piece returned to the car although clearly not bolted down uh, I snap the two USB connectors together which are the yellow circle there um, the red one is just highlighting where the USB wiring comes from and not forgetting to join those two green circles together there which are the power from the vehicle to the cigarette lighter and before I start screwing any of it down I just turn the ignition on to make sure um, that nothing's going to go up in smoke and it does work and clearly here you can see 14 volts so not only does my socket work but my alternator does quite well too and now for that age old adage of assembly is the reversal of disassembly so once complete there you go you'll have yourself a nice little voltmeter and a couple of USB charging points um, to keep your phone charged your kids tablets charged in the boot um, without having to uh, have any of these additional little sockets floating around in, a, in the centre console so thank you very much for watching i hope this has been of a benefit to any of you considering a similar thing yourself if it has do please hit the like button please subscribe to the channel uh, i look forward to seeing you soon with more videos uh, more than likely related around this vehicle uh, but whatever you're doing stay safe take care peace everybody